Well, hey everybody. Today is Monday, October the 7th. It's a beautiful day. And if you're coming out here on the back deck, you're gonna need some sunglasses if you didn't know it. <laughs> the sun is gonna shine for the next five days. The deck is hot because the sun is hot. But sun tanning is the best thing I can tell any of y'all to do. If you feel sick, go in and get in the sun. If you feel sick, go take a cold shower. Then get back in the sun. If you're healthy, start swimming and walking and riding a bicycle. If you don't take care of yourself, ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Longevity has its place. I heard <laughs> that somehow, I haven't looked it up yet, but I heard that somehow either the county or the city or both of them are going to start selling water. Well, that's interesting because water is free. It's in the air, it's in the atmosphere. If they wanted to do something, they could buy one of them machines that makes it out of there. Yeah, there'll be a link in the description box for a man that put that machine together. He was. Saying, we are out of water. We are not out of water. It's right here. Moses West, a retired Army Ranger, is the man behind the atmospheric water generator. It takes moisture from the environment and turns it into clean drinking water. He's literally changing air into water and has changed the clean water game. And uh, he had to learn how to take care of his men in the desert situations where there was no water. So he invented a machine, which is, he, he, he got a patent on several different little parts of it, but this idea of making uh, <laughs> water out of the air is, from building air conditioning systems and chillers and coolers. We're doing everything ass backwards. Selling water to people is not helping people. And giving water to people is helping people. People that are already paying taxes and already living here, making the system be able to grow and prosper over the next 20, 30, 40 years. But if you start off selling water to people that are, might be here pretty soon, totally bankrupt. Can't even pay for the house, much less their damn car. And you people at the city and at the county, you're gonna take their property when they can't pay their tax. We gotta turn everything around and start loving each other. Why would you want to sell water. What kind of profit could you make off of that? I called my Corps engineer buddies down in the Vispa district and I talked to one guy about that selling water. And he told me that California and Las Vegas wants to buy our water in Mississippi, which is the same thing as saying Missouri. It's spelt down there the same. It pronounces the same. But he said that they was not going to entertain that idea. He told me that they're going to fill their aquifer. You know what an aquifer is? It's a sea of water under our feet. Yes, it is. And in Mississippi, he's doing a wonderful thing because the farmers growing that badass corn corn that you can't even feed the animals is so damn GMO'd and made out of black magic you gotta feed it to a machine to make corn syrup out of it and put it in every damn processed food there is is that insanity I don't see the love in that the Mississippi Delta for years and years Bennett Thompson has been selling prosperity to them farmers 
not to grow anything worth a damn except that GMO corn so they can make high fructose corn syrup out of it. You can't even feed it to pigs. It'll make the pigs sick if you feed them just the raw corn. It ain't for animal feed. That ought to tell you something there. But what he said was they're going to start a process of taking the river, the, I think he said the Yazoo River, and they're going to divert it and pump it back into the aquifer. Well, hell, they need to do that up here because they're telling the city administrators and the county administrators that our aquifer up here is running dry, which is a lie. They're telling people all over the country that lie. You've got to do your research and see who the hell's lying to you. Look them people up. They are part of the problem. They don't have no solutions. I can tell you solutions. Fill the aquifer up here in this area, in Ozark, Branson area, and build a machine that will make thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of gallons a week and sell it to nobody. Give it away. Be proud that you gave it away. Look, all you officials and the police department and the sheriff and all of y'all, fire chief and all of y'all, if this world goes the way that the deep state wants it to go, we're going to be in a world of hurt. People are going to already, I'll just say it already, are losing their minds. And they're already going to start losing their cars and not be able to pay their rents or their house notes if things don't work out, if you know what I'm talking about. I can't say nothing about what's coming up, but that thing that's what's coming up has to work out for love. You see what I'm saying? It's a battle of love and hate. Lucifer energy, Luciferian, call it what you want to call it, deep state, has not got no love in it. All they want to do is make war and build a military industrial complex a hundred times bigger than what we got now. There won't be no people here pretty soon, It'll just be damn little robots walking around and flying around like little drones. We ain't got no bugs. I used to see bugs everywhere. Look at your windshield. When's the last damn time you cleaned your windshield? Let that wake you up a little bit because when the bugs are gone and the bees are gone, we're gone. But we can turn it all around if we talk to each other. If we hear of, of, a, of a situation where the county or the city or a combination of the two are going to start selling water to the people, that's when we need onevoicenow.org. Look it up. We got to tell them that no, you don't do that. You buy a, 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 a water-making machine from Moses. I think that's his name. He's a black fella, and he's a genius. He's very smart, highly decorated military veteran. And he's in the Carolinas right now with one of his machines. And guess what he has the problem with? Can't get enough milk jugs to pass the water out to the people. That part of that country ought to be ashamed of their damn selves. They should be able to pick up the phone and call somebody and get a truckload of empty milk cartons, milk jugs, you know, the one gallon kind. So they could fill it up and be convenient for people to tote and carry and it's just, it's love. If you put love in it, you get love back. But if you put hate and try to want to make a profit off of somebody and someone and sell something that is free, that was given to us by our Father, Mother, God, and you're going to sit there and try to come up with a way to sell it? Hell no, not on my watch. I'll raise nine kinds of hell over that. If you want to do something good, I'll show you how to get one of them machines with <laughs> deep state money. Y'all have already taken 
millions, if not a hundred million dollars in this whole area for that ARCA money and ain't even done half of what you could have done with it for love. Building bridges is great. That shows a little bit of love. Thank you, Lynn Morris, County Commissioner. You, you t slowly but surely teaching people what love is. I'm done with this part of the rant. Y'all have a great day. I'll make a blog about this. I'll put it on uh, X, and uh, maybe it won't be censored, but yeah, I'll put it on um, YouTube and see what happens. All I'm talking about is love, YouTube. How in the hell can you take that down? <laughs> Misinformation, ain't it? Yeah, love is not right. We're supposed to hate each other. Yeah, go out of our minds. I tell you what, when you come deep enough into love, you will go out of your mind. And you'll realize that you're from the creator source of all things that are real. And love is the only thing in this reality that is real. That's why they want to sell water. Because this is a simulation and they can get away with it. No, no, no. All right, y'all have a good day. Let's see how this water deal goes. I'll keep you informed. Oh, yeah. And uh, thank you for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.